This is Neko July 2022 General Mathematics Paper 2 and we are answering question number 6b. The question asked to solve this logarithmic equation. The equation says log to base 10 of a bracket inside the bracket is 4x plus 1. Minus log to base the 10 of another bracket inside is 3x minus 2, 2 equals to log to base the 10 of a bracket inside the bracket is 2x minus 1. Minus log to base the 10 of another bracket inside is 2x minus 3. This is the logarithmic equation that we asked it to solve. So let's attempt to do it together. Solution to the problem first copy the given equation asked to solve. This is logarithmic equation in which you apply the law of logarithm so that you reduce it to a much, much simpler equation. So, in attempt to do that, to we'll now apply the law. The left hand side here, log to base the 10 of 4x plus 1 minus log to base 10 of 3x minus 2, as it is the same base. So, log to base 10 can be outside, and you now have a large bracket open inside it. You now have uh, the first number divided by the second number that is the first number is 4x plus 1 that you you have log to base 10 of that number then log to base 10 of the second is what you have here below 3x minus 2 similarly the right hand side take log to base the 10 then open a large bracket inside you now have the first number or the very first bracket 2x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 3. So we continue. So you can see you have log to base the 10 of this very bracket equals to log to base 10 of another bracket. So it means if these two, two logs are the same, it's the same base 10. So definitely the numbers must be the same. So therefore, we can now equate this bracket that is 4x plus 1 divided by 3x minus 2 to be equals to. 2x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 3. So now reduced to this instead of logarithmic equation, it is now changed to simple equation or normal equation. And to solve this equation, what you do first is to cross multiply. So cross multiply, you now have 2x minus 3 down here times 4x plus 1 up here equals to 3x minus 2 down here times 2x minus 1 up there. So you now expand these two brackets and collect like terms. So expanding the bracket by the left hand side, the brackets are there. You now have uh, 8x squared minus 3x minus 3. After expanding and collecting like terms. Similarly expanding the brackets by the right here. 3x times 2x is what gives you 6x squared. 3x times minus 1. And minus 2 times minus 2x is what gives you after collecting like terms minus 7x. Then minus 2 times minus 1 is what gives you this positive 2. Shifting everything to the left and collect like terms, that is 8x squared minus 6x squared minus 10x plus 7x, which is what gives you 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation that we needed to solve this quadratic equation to find the x. So you can use any method here. Let me just use factorization method. So factorization of this left hand side, if you did correctly, is what gives you 2x minus 5 into x plus 1 equals to 0. This is the factorization of the left hand side. So if these two brackets multiplied together gives answer 0, surely one of those brackets must be 0 or both of them are zeros. If it is where first bracket that is 0, then x is now going to be 5 over 2. If it is the second bracket that is equals to 0, finding x there will give answer x as minus 1. So this is the solution to this very equation. Either x equals to 5 over 2 or x equals to minus 1. So let me just share with you quickly the mark distribution for this very question as it is contained in the marking scheme. So the very first mark is method 1 mark and this method 1 more 1 mark is when you apply the law of logarithm and arrive at this correctly, you have this method 1 mark. Next mark is still taking this log to be instead of this number equals to log to be instead of this number and arriving at this normal equation, you have this bonus 1 mark. 
Next mark is another method. One mark is by cross multiplying. In your attempt to solve this normal equation, you cross multiply. You have this method one mark. Next mark is another method. One mark is for expanding the four brackets there correctly. You have this method one mark. Next mark uh, is still attempting to solve when you now collect like terms together. You have this method one mark. And uh, this quadratic equation when you factorize it correctly in your attempt to solve it you have this method one mark and uh, the final mark when you now have uh, the value of x as 5 over 2 or x equals to minus 1 both the two if correctly written you now have this accuracy one mark so in total this question has uh, seven good marks